Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for another video today. Uh, today we are dose splitting. This is something that a lot of you guys seemed interested in me showing what you needed, what you used, how you did it, all of that. So if you are new here, I have lost um, almost 80 pounds on my Manjaro journey since November of 2022. And due to recent outages and all of that, I had to go up to a 15 milligram pen um, the last time I picked up my medicine and it was just way too strong for me. I'm in maintenance mode now. And so what I'm gonna be doing is splitting this into three five milligram dosages. Now, first off, uh, here's my little disclaimer. I am not a doctor, I'm not, uh, giving you medical advice. I'm just showing you what I am doing. Always talk to your doctor before you split doses, change your dose or anything like that. Talk to your trusted provider before doing any of that. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and share with you everything that I found, um, that I researched and decided that I needed to do this. And then I'm going to lower the camera down so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Um, I'm really excited about this. It's like, I've been waiting to do it. So we're going to go ahead and jump right on into it. Now there are several different methods that I have seen that you can use. There is taking the pen apart. There is inserting a needle or, or, shooting the Manjaro directly into a vial, and then there is drawing it out of the Manjaro pen itself, which is the method I'm gonna be using because um, that's the method that seems to have the least risk of wasting medicine. So with all that being said, this is the stuff that you're going to be needing to do it that way, and I will link everything down below so that you can go and get it if you are interested. The first thing that you're going to need is a 23 gauge needle on a syringe and this is what it looks like this is going to be used not to give yourself a shot because that would hurt with that big of a needle but this is the one that's going to be used to draw the medicine out so i got this pack of 25 of them off of amazon the next thing you're going to be needing which maybe i should have mentioned this first is alcohol pads you're going to be using a lot of alcohol pads um, to make sure you keep everything as clean as possible you're going to be wiping everything down. So you need a good bit of alcohol pads. I got this box of 200 of them, sterile alcohol prep pads, and this was very affordable, like four or $5. The next thing you're going to be needing, we'll just go ahead and stick with uh, syringes themselves. These are insulin syringes. So I'm gonna take one of these out of here. So this is what you will use to actually drop the medication and use and, and give yourself the shot. So these are little one millimeter syringes and it has a 30 gauge needle, which is a much smaller, um, if you don't know needle sizing, the smaller the number, the bigger the needle. So this is a much smaller needle, uh, so much better for you know not hurting yourself when giving you the injection. So this is what you will actually use to give yourself the shot. This pack that I got, I believe there is 20 of them. Again, maybe $10 on Amazon. And then there are two more things that you're going to be needing. The first one is backwater or bacteria, back, bacteriostatic water. <laughs> I can't exactly pronounce that, but essentially what this does is you're going to use it to reconstitute the solution into the new vial. And then it also helps you to, um, it helps prevent bacteria from growing. So this is bacteriostatic is how you would say it. Um, and it comes in this sterile vial with a lot number and expiration date. Um, you do need to, um, it is a multiple use vial that says to refrigerate after opening and dispose after 30 days. So you can use this multiple times as long as it's within that 30 days. I think that I will probably get two uses out of each bottle. And these were for a two pack were about $10. So every box of 15 milligrams, I would have to buy a new box of these. So still so much more affordable. We're still going to be saving a ton of money. And then the final thing that you're going to be needing are sterile vials. Now it's very important that you get a self sealing vial. The one that I'm going to link is going to be a self sealing vial. And it's very, very, very important to, to get that. So essentially what that means is every time, if I can open this, is every time you insert a needle into it to draw some of the medication out, you are going, it's going to self seal so that again, hopefully no bacteria 
could grow in it. So I just got these tiny little three millimeter ones. There's two in there because I'm only making a total of a milliliter and a half of solution. Um, so that should be perfect for that. So that is everything that you're going to be needing. We're going to go ahead and just jump right on into it. I'm excited to do this. I'm excited to share you what I've learned. The first thing that you need to do is go ahead and cleanse the area that you are going to be using. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, uh, uh, some disinfectant wipes and I'm going to wipe down this entire spot on my table and then I'm going to wash my hands and then we will get started on setting everything out. So you want to, the goal is to keep everything as clean as possible. You do not want any chance of any medicaid or any bacteria growing is the idea. So wipe everything down, wipe it down twice. The cleaner you make it, the less chance of infection or anything like that, like anything going wrong. So I've wiped that down. I'm going to go wash my hands and then we'll get started. Okay. I am back. The camera is down so that you guys can hopefully see everything that I am doing and we are going to go ahead and do it. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to take our Manjaro pen. You are going to leave it locked. Do not unlock the Manjaro pen because that um, poses the risk of the, you accidentally hitting the button and the medicine injecting out. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your larger gauge needle and your Manjaro pen and you're going to take the cap off of the Manjaro like so. Again, it's locked. It's not going to eject or whatever. And then you are going to take the cap off. Oh, not the needle. Don't twist it. You're going to take just the cap off of the larger needle and you are going to fit it directly over the other needle. It should just slide right on there. There we go. Okay. That took me a minute to get it on there, but essentially you should just be able to fit the needle right on top of the other needle. And all you're going to do, make sure it's on there good, all you're going to do is start drawing the medication out. So start pulling back on this plug here. And you do have to pull back rather slowly and you may get some air. But essentially it'll start coming out. It is in fact coming out of there but it is definitely going rather slow. Okay, I wanted to show you there. How you can see there's just a tiny little bit right there left in the, uh, in the shot. We've almost got all of it out. The method, the reason I liked this method as well is because you are not ever coming in contact with the medicine itself. It's going directly from the vial. Okay. So I am, there we go there. You can see there is exactly half a milliliter in there, which is what you want. You want half a milliliter of the solution. And next you need to take your little sterile vial, pop the lid off, and I am actually going to um, sterilize the top of this. It's allegedly sterile to begin with, right? And you, all you did was pop the top off, but I don't think it can hurt to wipe the top down with an alcohol pad. So we're gonna wipe the top of this down. And we're also, and then I'm just gonna sit that there because we're also gonna wipe that down. But essentially you are just going to insert this needle into the top of this vial like so, and shoot the medicine down in there. There you go. You can see the Manjaro is now in the bottom of that. There it is. Then all you're going to do is wipe off the top of this one. And you're going to draw up a mil, if you want three, um, 
five milligram dosages, then you need a milliliter of the reconstitution solution. And then that will give you three half milliliter dosages, which is the same amount of dosage that's in the original Manjaro pen. So we are gonna take the same needle because again, it has not touched anything. We're gonna take the same one and insert it into the top of, oh well, first you need to pull up on the back of this. So this is called, I don't remember what it's called, but you're supposed to pull back to one milliliter. It'll make it easier to draw up and then push that air into the vial when you insert it into this one. So you push the air in, flip it over, and then draw out a milliliter of solution. There we go, like so. Right on the one, there's handy little numbers right there for you, and then you're going to take your vial again and insert that directly into the self-sealing vial. Now, one thing about this is that you do not want to shake the solution. You don't want to shake up the peptides. So all you're going to do is take your hand and slowly rotate it to mix it. And that is it. Now you have three, let me raise this up a little bit here. Now you have three five milliliter or three half milliliter injections at five milligrams per half milliliter. It literally was that easy. And so every time you are ready to do a shot, all you will do is take one of your insulin syringes, alcohol wipe the top of this, I don't think you can re-put this cap on there. I wish you could because that would help make me feel better about it being in the refrigerator. Oh, it does go back on there. Okay, so you can just put that little cap on there. You're gonna store this in the refrigerator and every time you're ready to give an injection, you're gonna get one of your insulin syringes and one of your alcohol pads. You're gonna wipe the top of this vial off and then you're gonna draw up half a milliliter and you're on the insulin syringes, which is 50 units, because this is done in units. So it will say like zero to 100. So you wanna go 50 units, which would be half a milliliter, and you're gonna give yourself the shot the same way you do the Manjaro shots. It was literally that easy, and you can make your stuff last a lot longer. Again, make sure you put the reconstitution solution in the refrigerator after you open it, and every time you use this, which again, I think I'll only be able to use it twice, but every time you use it, put it into the refrigerator as well. That needs to be stored in the fridge. And obviously don't reuse the needles. If you use a needle, throw it away. And it is that easy, friends. Let me know down below if this video was helpful for you. I'm really excited to be doing this. I'm really excited to share with you guys how I did this and hopefully save everybody some money. And as long as you maintain clean technique and you do everything as you should, then um, all the reviews say that this should be fine. So we're gonna put this in the fridge and I will take my first shot of this tomorrow on Friday. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.